Hi, I'm Ty West, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. I want to talk about what is maybe my favorite Francis Ford Coppola movie. Not The Godfather, not Apocalypse Now, but a movie that he wasn't even supposed to direct, which is Peggy Sue Got Married, which I think has to be one of the strangest, darkest, most emotional time travel movies I've ever seen, in that it's a movie about divorce and sadness and going back to relive your past, and rather than reliving the great times you had and seeing it from a different perspective. It's about hopefully changing it all so that your life is not as miserable. Yet it's somehow it's still kind of this like teen, time travel, 1950s, I don't know, fun movie, despite all that. So I think it's totally unique and I've always been very excited by it. Peggy Sue was once crazy about the guy she married. I have certain unresolved feelings about your father. You know, originally this was a Penny Marshall movie with Deborah Winger, and then it then became a Francis Ford Coppola movie with Kathleen Turner. But what I think most people remember from it is Nicolas Cage's performance is truly inspired. And I think I heard that he based his character, or at least his voice, on the voice of Gumby, which is a bold direction for an actor to take uh, and I think it really sort of traumatized the studio and to some degree Coppola but uh, it just makes such a one-of-a-kind performance and what is like kind of your typical like teen time travel like you know the story we've seen on TV a million times before there's a real weird dark melancholy to this movie because Kathleen Turner and Nicolas Cage are getting divorced and when she goes back to relive it rather than being so happy to like fix things she just doesn't want anything to do with him and it's like totally breaking his heart because he's unaware of it and those are like really weird complex themes to be in a, a movie that ultimately feels like it's on the page was for young people. It's also a movie where uh, I think Jim Carrey is one of his first roles so he pops up as uh, Nicolas Cage's friend and it's just like it's a very and it's also the end of this movie that starts to deal with the time travel part of things is also dealing with like a weird kind of like Elks Club that doesn't really make a lot of sense and it just it falls into this weird fantasy realm um, but I think there's a little element of that there the Elks Lodge or whatever it is uh, these are great classic 80s titles um, but it's also like I, there's a scene where she sees her mom young again and it, she has like this weird emotional moment to it and I thought it's always a very poignant thing to have and again what seems like a teen movie it's actually, I think, much more elevated than that. I propose it to you now. There he is, Nicolas Cage with the Gumby voice. It's just, I mean, it's, it's wild. <laughs>